to have a dialogue about, this is one I think I've, a lesson I think I've learned and it seems like I keep relearning it and relearning it. So my mentor had this conversation with me 20 years ago, kind of rocked my world about the difference between friends and acquaintances. And I, I hadn't at that point split the two apart. I don't remember if I had something going with somebody and he's like, that you had them in the wrong column. I'm like, well, what are you talking about? So you had them in the friend column. That was an acquaintance. That's why you're upset. And, uh, and that was a very powerful distinction. Uh, I, and I realized I don't have, I have a lot of acquaintances and I don't have many friends. Now the friends I have, they're good friends and there's, certain, there's a certain quality of conversations that I have with those people that I have with acquaintances. And until I noticed it, it wasn't distinct for me. And it was a source of a lot of upset. So uh, recently I had, you know, I had a, uh, an incident where I had, you know, friend and acquaintance collapsed and it was very upsetting. So I'm not gonna say who, I'm not gonna get into all the circumstances, just uh, I don't wanna embarrass anyone, but um, yeah, I got a text from somebody late at night and it was, it seemed, for me, it was like out of left field. And, you know, my comment back was, you know, uh, I'm not a big fan of texting anyway, but certain things you just can't get accomplished in a text that takes, you know, a dialogue. And uh, this person, uh, I don't wanna do that. Okay, well, and I immediately knew in that moment I had friends and acquaintances in the wrong uh, uh, quadrant, so to speak, because I know like my friends, they'll pick up the phone and call me. If they got a problem with me, they'll tell me and vice versa. So the upset in that situation was I, I had this person as a friend. And in fact, they were acquaintance and there's nothing acquaintances is not better or worse than friends it's just a distinction like night is distinct from day and vice versa one's not better than the other you may have a preference for one or the other but there's inherently nothing better about night and day versus friend and acquaintance so it's just something to notice that you do um, and you'll hear people loosely you know this person's my friend they're my friend they're my friend or most likely it's their their acquaintances and not necessarily friends. So, you know, when you want uncollapse the two, it's just, there's a lot of freedom uh, from upset, or maybe you are upset about a certain relationship. And I just invite you to look at, is this person a friend or are they an acquaintance? You may have them in the wrong column. And if they're in the wrong column, that can be a source of upset. So just uh, something to look at and notice. And uh, stay tuned for more videos from Yoga for DNA. This is Dave, I'll be signing off, sign on.